What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here. In this next video, what we're gonna talk about is closed sets under operations. And this particular concept is kind of difficult to explain in words or to give a formal definition for. So I'm actually gonna show it to you through examples. I feel like that's the best way to explain it. And we're going to show this using some common sets. So some common sets I'll go over is natural numbers, we can go over the integers, we'll go over rational numbers, and then we'll also go over real numbers. These are usually the common sets that are shown as examples when we're talking about closed sets under operations. So starting with natural numbers, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, let's say that we have two elements A and B. So if A and B, let's say they're elements, they're an element of natural numbers, meaning that these two elements are from the set of natural numbers. Remember, natural numbers, they're what? One, two, three, four, et cetera, et cetera. All of the positive integers, right? Zero is not included in that. So if A and B is an element of natural numbers, meaning A and B, is some kind of natural number, we don't know which one, then what we want to do when we say under operations, we want to check what's going to happen when we, for example, add those two elements. What's this element going to be? Is it going to be a natural number or not? Is this going to be an element of natural numbers or not? And notice that if we take two positive integers, two natural numbers and then we add them, then notice that the resulting element is going to be a natural number as well, right? One plus two is three, or two plus four is six, three plus four is seven. It's always going to be a natural number. So this here is going to be an element of natural numbers as well. And so what we would say here is that the set of natural numbers is closed under the operation of addition. Right, so if you take two elements if you add them and they're still part of that same set that you're working with, it's an element of that set you're working with, then that particular set, in this case it's natural numbers, is closed under addition. And then the other operations we're going to go over is we're going to be multiplying, we're going to be subtracting, and then we're going to be dividing. So it could be A divided by B or A over B. So what's gonna happen if we take these two elements, which are natural numbers, and then we multiply them? Well, notice if we take two positive integers and multiply them, no matter what the integers are, the result is gonna be a positive integer as well. So A times B is also an element of natural numbers. So the set of natural numbers is closed under addition and multiplication. It's actually closed for both of them. And the reason why I put these two operations first, addition and then multiplication, is because for these four sets that we're gonna be working with, addition, they're all closed under addition and multiplication for all four of these sets. However, when it comes to subtraction and division, then you have to look at it on a case-by-case -case basis. So, what if we take subtraction? Well, notice that for some cases, this is gonna end up being a positive uh, integer. So for example, if we take like four minus one, if A is four and B is one, four minus one is three, that's gonna give us a natural number. But notice we can also get results that are not natural numbers with this. So for example, if we took one minus four, that would give us negative three which would be a negative integer, which is not a natural number. So what we would say here is that A minus B is not, 
or we would say um, the set of natural numbers is not closed under subtraction. Right? A minus B, this here, this element, this, the set of all of these is not going to be closed under subtraction. The set of natural numbers is not closed under subtraction, meaning that there's going to be elements that are not going to be natural numbers that can come out of this here. And then same thing for division because we can take like 1 over 2 and notice that that's not a natural number, right? If A is 1 and B is 2, for example. It's a rational number, but it's not a natural number. And so the set of natural numbers is not closed under subtraction or division. Right, so that's what it means. So basically, if you have elements part of a set, and then a certain operation with those two elements, if that result is an element of that same set, then we would say that that set is closed under that operation. Right, but if you can get elements that are not under that original set, then that set is not closed for that operation. I know the wording is kind of uh, confusing, but hopefully you're getting it here. So natural numbers, they are, the set of natural numbers is closed under addition and multiplication. But it is not closed under subtraction and then division. All right, what about the next? set. So the next set we'll deal with is integers. So as I mentioned, let me erase this here. As I mentioned one and two, all these sets are going to be closed under addition and multiplication all the time. Right? So if you take, uh, remember integers, they're what? Zero, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's all of the positive and negative integers and 0. It includes 0. Well, notice that adding any of these, multiplying any of these together will give you a resulting integer as well. But then these two, let's take it on a case-by-case -case basis. So notice a minus b in this case. This is also going to be an element of integers. So if we take like positive 1 minus 4 like we did before, we get negative 3, which is an integer. Or if we take 0 minus 1, we would get negative 1, which is also an integer. So the set of integers is closed under addition, multiplication, and subtraction. What about division? Well, division, it's, uh, it's easy to see as the last set of natural numbers. For example, if we take 1 over 2, notice that that right there is not an integer. Or negative 2 over 3, that's not an integer either. So what we would say is the set of integers is not closed under division, but it is closed under addition, multiplication, and subtraction, right? So notice that these results are different than natural numbers because both of these were not closed, but in this case, only this one is not closed, only this operation. The set of integers is not closed under division, but it is closed with the other three operations, right? What about moving on to rational numbers? So let's say A and B is an element of rational numbers. And actually, the result for rational numbers and real numbers is going to be the same. So I'm going to use both of them here. 
Now, as I mentioned, all of these sets, so the set of rational numbers, set of real numbers, is going to be closed under addition and multiplication. So we could put QR, QR over here. But what about subtraction and then division? Well, subtraction, notice if we take any rational number, remember a rational number is what? It could be written as M over N as a fraction. If we take any two fractions and then subtract them, we'll get a resulting fraction. If we take any two real numbers, remember real numbers is any number between negative infinity and positive infinity, subtract them, we'll also get a real number. So the set of rational numbers, set of real numbers is closed under subtraction as well. This resulting element is gonna be an element of both of these sets too. With division, it's also going to be an element of both of these. However, we have to put the condition that the B is not equal to zero. Because we know zero is a real number, it's also a rational number, but it can't be zero when we're dividing, right? So if you take two rational numbers, two fractions, divide them by each other, you'll get a fraction. If you take two real numbers, divide them by each other, you'll get a real number. However, you can't be dividing by zero, so that condition that B can't be zero is there. So in conclusion, the set of rational numbers and the set of real numbers is closed under addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division as well. Before division, you just have to make sure that that B value is not equal to zero.